Love is. If love is patience, why do we rush into things that aren't good for us? If love is not envious, why are we so quick to covet all that we want despite what we have? If love is not boastful, why do our lives revolve around what looks better rather than personal betterment? And if love keeps no record of wrongs, why are we counting down until the next one? This generation does not know how to love. This generation was taught how to lust. We listen to songs about sex, drugs, and money and sing along the deception that tastes like honey, yet we turn down the volume when we hear of submission, sacrifice, and commitment. One leads to doubt, the other leads to fulfillment. At the end of the day, we were all made for relationships while never learning how to steward them. And that's not our fault. It is true, it is not good for man to be alone, and two is better than one, but there is more. In the word of God, we are taught all of the above. How to live healthy lives, maintain husbands and wives, and we learn that love is not what we feel, but the name of the God we serve. For the sake of time and the elements of surprise, I will not say all what love truly is. You can find out for yourself within the pages of the one where love begins.